special day for some retired military out of the Oklahoma City area. They visited Fort Sill. And these were no ordinary retirees. These servicemen have either lost most of their sight or all of it. Twenty-five of them came to Southwest Oklahoma to tour the Field Artillery Museum. They got to handle the historic artillery weaponry and even put on a uniform once again. 7 News reporter Caroline Kimbrell spoke with one of those visually impaired retirees, a retired Marine. Retired Marine Mike Stevens has been blind for nearly two decades. He says it was not a result of his service, but natural causes. He says he doesn't mind seeing, but he does mind not being able to be as active as he once was. Mike Stevens is a retired infantry Marine, and looking at this cannon, old as it is, brought back memories. I only, only shot one like probably four times. It was a day for him to reminisce, as it was for the other 24 retired servicemen. Well, it's different because um, so many things have changed. They've got so much protection now that we didn't have. Twenty years ago, Stevens noticed something was different. He couldn't see as well. I went to uh, to a place to shoot pool. And I was shooting pool and I couldn't see the end of the pool table. It never got any better. That's why Tom is such a huge part of his life these days. He's a CNI dog. His story is similar to others here today. That's why today was so special, suiting up in a uniform once again and handling weapons. It all brought back fond military memories. It, being around them is the most, the thing that brings back the most memories, is being around the servicemen. Tom seemed to enjoy it too. Stevens calls him the most loyal companion ever. Stevens told me life is not much different being partially blind. He says it's all about what you make out of it. Back to you.